All right, the day you guys have been waiting for. Oh, did I say welcome back to JenLevity.com? Mm, I think I missed that one. Um, you guys have been waiting so patiently for me to tell you about my rockin' camera that took those amazing shots of me jumping. And by the way, I was not jumping off the couch. I really have mad hops. Yeah. Okay, so my amazing camera. We had a party over at our house with some couples, and two of the ladies brought out this cool camera. And my camera was so bad. I had a really bad camera. Um, 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 so here you go. Oh, that it tells you not to drop your camera. I, I'm serious. Look at this. Listen to what this tells you about your camera before I tell you what kind it is. Okay, I wasn't supposed to drop it because it says avoid dropping or hitting your camera or sitting <laughs> or sitting down with your camera in your pocket. That's a great tip. Okay, here's another one. Do not get your camera wet or insert. <laughs> Or do not insert foreign objects. Okay, who does that? What are we going to insert into our camera? Okay, but I will tell you that I did read the whole flipping manual. And most of you guys probably take bad pictures because you never read your manual. If you would just read your manual, you'd probably take greater pictures. And you may not even need a new camera. But if you do need a new camera, it's a Lumix 10X optical zoom. The screen on this puppy is so sweet. Look at this. Look at that. Can you see how cool that screen is? It's so big. And it has like this amazing zoom. Okay, you might even get like my whole mouth here. <laughs> okay, anyway, there you go. It's just a cool camera. I got it at Costco. It was 269 bucks, but Costco is running some offer coupon or something. So we got it for 200 bucks. It's it even says on the outside of this thing, best product. So Lumix, Panasonic makes it, totally great camera. And when I tell you that I read this manual from front to back, I really did. And, I, okay, I had a friend um, today that I was talking with about acronyms, and I hate acronyms. Like, unless I'm texting or Twittering, like, who talks in acronyms? I hate acronyms. Rachel Ray, I love Rachel Ray, but what is up with the E-E-O-V? Why can't you say extra... What is it? Extra virgin olive oil. Like, why can't you just say that? Why do you say E-V-O-O? -O? Anyway, so this book had a ton of them. Look at this. It has, like, USB, an AV cable, a CD-ROM. Then it tells me that um, we recommend that you use this genuine leather case, which is a DMW CT3 sold separately. Yeah, okay, anyway. LCD. Yeah, this whole thing was acronymed out. All right, so I kind of got distracted. But here's the camera. It's really cool. A Lumix. So there you go. You can go get yourself one at Costco for like 200 or 250 bucks. It's a great camera. All right, I think that's it. I don't think I need to tell you anything else. I have some really funny stories that are coming up. Um, I'll even tell you one right now, just because I don't think I've spent enough time on this vlog. Okay, so I'm in Albertsons the other day, and I'm shopping Ashton Kate's in the front of the shopping cart, and I'm like looking through the meat section. And I kind of had a weird vibe. I don't know, like something I was like, something felt in my space. And Ashton Kate, because she's only three, and we all know what kids say, all that stuff that they're so open and honest about. She goes, Mama, he likes you. So I go, what? And she goes, Mama, he likes you. And I turn around, and I'm not kidding. Like, a foot and a half from my face is this really creepy guy. Bless his heart, he was probably totally normal and fine, but he looked really creepy. And he was like right there. He wasn't even looking at the meat section. He was just staring at me. And I was like, oh! And I turn around and I start going and like, so I get like five feet away from him. And then Ashton goes, he still likes you. And I'm like, ah! And she, this guy goes, well I do. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I keep going and he's following me in Albertsons. So I ditched him down the feminine products aisle, and there you go. There's a tip. There's a tip for you. If you ever need to get away from creepy guys in Albertsons. Yeah. Uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, the camera. So there you go. 250 bucks, and um, feminine products will ditch creepy guys in Albertsons. All right. Look forward to talking to you guys next week. Have a great day.